delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. From the music capital of the Philippines, advancing in the challenge of distance learning. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is DepEd TV. Tarana! Senior high school learners, welcome to our oral communication class. This is Teacher Michelle, and my heart swells with joy to join you in today's episode of Lantau Compre. Before we give it to go, there are a few reminders you need to know. Make sure that you are in a comfortable place and that you have self learning module, paper pen with you. All right, since you are excited for today's discussion, raise yourselves with the lesson objectives. In our last episode, you learned various speech style and their uses. Your thorough understanding of the previous topic will help you to ace today's lesson. However, there's no better way to embrace this episode than to answer the pre-test. This 15-item objective test will give you a glimpse of the lesson. I randomly picked 5 questions, meaning you will have to deal with the remaining 10 items yourself. Write the letter only. Number 1. Who can author this statement and make possible a marital union? I now pronounce you as husband and wife. A. Priest B. Teacher C. Retired Policeman or D. Famous Celebrity You have an excellent start. Letter A. Priest is the answer. Number 2. What do you think is the speaker's intention? When he says, Can you carry this for me? A. The speaker wants to know if I have the ability to carry his things. B. The speaker is requesting me to help him carry his things. C. The speaker does not make sense. Or D. The speaker does not mean anything. What a brilliant choice! Letter B is the answer. Number 3. Who among the four speakers expresses commitment? Speaker A. I checked her outputs last week. Speaker B. I am sad and feeling blue. Speaker C. I promise to help you with your problems. Speaker D. I think following the law makes us responsible citizen. Yes, the Speaker C ended. Consistent start, that's who you are. 
Number four. It refers to the utterance that a speaker makes in order to achieve an intended effect. A. Speech act. B. Speech demo. C. Speech style. Or D. Speech variation. You found the correct answer. Letter A. Awesome. Number 5. In what speech act does this utterance fall? Please clean the house. A. Commissive. B. Locutionary. C. Elocutionary. Or D. Permissive. Good job! It's letter B. Everyone loves a bright learner. Thank you so much for doing your best in answering our pre-test. Your outstanding performance proves your eagerness to get the ball rolling. A speech app is an utterance that a speaker makes to achieve an intended effect. As an act of communication, speech acts are performed when a person offers an apology, says a greeting, makes a request, and expresses a complaint. Also, an invitation, compliment, or refusal are also examples of speech acts. People use language with communicative intentions. Speech acts, therefore, are the acts of communication that expresses those intentions. John Longshaw Austin, a prolific language philosopher, and at the same time a leading proponent of speech act theory enumerated the three types of speech act namely locutionary act elocutionary act and perlocutionary act let's get to know each act locutionary act is the actual act of authoring or saying something this happens with the utterances of a sound, a word, or even a phrase as a natural unit of speech. An utterance is a locutionary act when it has determinate sense. It has the same meaning to both speaker and the listener. And the utterance gives rise to shared meaning when it is adjusted by the speaker for the listener. Here are the examples. Wow! Hello? Get out. Meanwhile, an illusionary act is not just saying something itself, but is the act of saying something with the intention of stating an opinion, Conforming or denying something, making a prediction, a promise, or a request, issuing an order or a decision, or giving advice or permission. And now, here are the examples. Tagum City National Comprehensive High School is the best learning institution in Tagum City. I'll help you answer your reviews tomorrow. Submit your projects before Christmas break. A perlocutionary act, however, refers to the consequent effect of what was said. This is seen when particular effect is sought from either the speaker or the listener or both. The response may not necessarily be physical or verbal and is elicited as inspiring or insulting, persuading or deterring with the aim of changing feelings, thoughts, or actions. We can do this. We heal and win as one. It is crucial that we give all our collective efforts to fight against this pandemic. We must start working together. Smoking destroys your health. Certain as it brings diseases, it kills you 
your loved ones, and others. Inspired by Austin's profound contributions to language, John Searle, a professor from the University of California, Berkeley, classified into five distinct categories the elocutionary acts which he identified as assertive, a type of elocutionary act in which the speaker expresses belief about the truth of a proposition. Some examples of an assertive act are suggesting, putting forward, swearing, boasting, and concluding, Say, no one can love you better than I do! Directive, a type of elocutionary act in which the speaker tries to make an addressee perform an action. Examples of a directive act are asking, ordering, requesting, inviting, advising, and begging. Say, please maintain the cleanliness of our school. Commissive, a type of elocutionary act which commits the speaker to do something. Say, from this moment on, I will love you and honor you for the rest of my life. Expressive, a type of elocutionary act in which the speaker expresses his or her feelings or and an emotional reaction. Some examples of an expressive act are thinking, apologizing, welcoming, and deploring. Say, Thank heavens! You came to save me! I owe you my life! Declaration, a type of elocutionary act which brings a change in the external situation. Some examples of declarations are blessing, firing, baptizing, bidding, passing a sentence, and excommunicating. Say, you're fired! We are done with our discussion. Sure, you're all eyes and ears. It's now time for some hands-on, hearts-on tasks. Please open your self-learning module on page 12 and pin your attention on Activity 1B, Famous Lines. I want you to remember the immortal lines made by your favorite actor and actress. Then, determine the speech act by filling out the information in the table. You are thereby ordered to answer the remaining tasks in your module to further your understanding on the lesson. What speech act did I just make? Correct! It's an elocutionary speech act. What an incredible learning experience so far. Congratulations, my dear learners, for reaching this far and for promising to give your best shot in our post-text. Write only the letter of the answer that fits best on a separate sheet of paper. What are you waiting for? Let's begin. Number one. Who proposed the speech act theory? A. John Austin B. John Searle C. John Cena or D. John Lennon Very well, it's letter A. John Austin Number two, when can we say that the speech act is a locutionary act? A, when there is an utterance of a sound, a word, or even speech. B, when there is something said to express an intention. C, when the utterance changes the person's feelings, thoughts, or actions or D when the statement caused misunderstanding and confusion.
good listener knows the correct answer. Thanks for being what? Yes, it's letter C. Number 4. You were eating delicious apples. Your friend came and asked you, Is that sweet? While looking at your apples, how will you respond appropriately? A. Yes, these apples are sweet. B. No, please leave me alone. C. Yes, would you like some? Or D. Absolutely. Despite the confusion, you still managed to choose the best answer. Letter C. Applause. Number 5. I love you very much. How do you classify the educationary act? A. Assertive. B. Commissive. C. Directive. Or D. Expressive. You are unbelievable. You got it right. It's letter D. Expressive. Please get going until you complete answering all 15 items. Good luck! That's it class, another episode has ended. I couldn't thank you enough for the opportunity to share with you something worthy and meaningful. I hope you learned a lot from this lesson today. This has been teacher Michelle Grace A. Louise saying, Communication is not just part of life. Communication is life. See you again in our next journey here in Tagum City National Comprehensive High Schools, Lantau Compre. Adieu!